All right, the etude is complete. And for the most part, we're just playing the same six chords. Basically that right there. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, obviously, two of the chords are, are repeated there. But in order to make this idea work, there's one instance right when it becomes a 4-4 four, four time signature for the first time. We go all the way down to the open E5. But other than that, it's going to be just the same chord. So basically, uh, root notes, we go B, A, G, F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, and then same as before, B, A, G, F sharp, G, and A. So with this, um, we're starting with the three, four time signature. So when we listen to this, we hear just uh, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick to establish the one, two, three, one, two, three. And then it starts to play the actual rhythm. One, two, three, one E, a two, and a E, and one E, a two, and a E, and one E. And then you got the chords and the bass that come in along with it. I feel this should be a little louder. Alright. And as it progresses, now it's in the 4 4. But we're still changing chords after every third beat. Drums change a little bit in terms of like where the snare hits throughout this. And here we got the chords changing every new bar. So really trying to establish that 3-4 count at the beginning and then when we are changing chords each new bar hopefully by then you you got that 3-4 count really ingrained like you're, you're saying it and you're confident with it so as far as working this up still starting at 60 or less start at 50 if you need to that's totally fine but don't go faster until you're able to count the entire way. And then, because of how long this is, like go up 10 beats per minute and see if you can do it there. And then do another 10 bit, uh, beats per minute faster and see if you can do it there. When you reach a speed, let's say you get to like 100 and you're just not able to get things correct anymore, drop it down to 95 and see if you can get it there. So basically... When things start getting really tough, just drop it down. So yeah, go up in tens until you can't do it. Then drop it down five and see if you can do it there. And if you can't do it there, just drop it down. Uh, drop it down one BPM and then keep going down one BPM until you can finally get it correct again. And then maybe just stay there for the day. So because again, this is a lot. So and then yeah, just work it up each day in tens like I'm saying once you finally reach a speed you can no longer say things correctly and keep everything in line drop it down 10 or not 10 drop it down 5 and try again and again if that's not if that's still too fast by going down 5 just go down 1 and then keep going down by 1 until you got it once more so as you do that it should at least hit the same speed uh, you know each day Hopefully a little bit faster each day, though. Um, and especially, uh, the big thing I want is that you get more comfortable comfortable and confident with this count. So, all right, let's demonstrate this guy. 60, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, E, a 2, and a, E, and 1, E, a 2, and a, E, and 1, E, a 2, and a, E, and 1, E.
Let's take it from the top. One, two, three, one, two, three, one E, a two, and a E, and 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 one E, a two. E and one E, a two and a E and one E, a two. E and one E, a two and a 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 E and one E. And a E and one E, a two 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 and a E and. All right, let's play it at ninety next. A uh, and one e, a two and a uh, and one e, a two and a uh, and one e, a two and a uh, and one e, 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 Two and a E and one E and 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 one E and one E and two and a 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 E and all right one twenty. covers it so yeah get where you can with it just keep this thing in control um, and then we can go back to the previous one after you get uh, this thing nice and solid previous one meaning the uh, was it lesson number one from last week but anyway we'll talk more about that later yeah just get this as solid as you can any questions let me know and I will see you again next week <laughs>